welcome in this class we are going to solve a problem on the pipe flow like how to find the average velocity of flow how to calculate the head loss due to friction in the pipe flow and how to calculate the power loss due to the head losses in pipe flow so let's begin and we have the problem here oil flows at the rate of 0.2 22 meter cube per second in a 500 millimeter diameter pipeline 500 meter long specific gravity of oil is 0.86 neglecting minor losses and friction factor is 0.018 okay now it is saying we have a pipe okay we have a pipe Now we have the pipe, okay, its length is 500 meters, its diameter is 500 millimeter which is 0 0.5 meter, right. Now the flow rate is given to be 0 0.22 meter cube per second okay now this is an oil right the specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.86 okay so what is the density now density of oil or any material is specific gravity of that fluid specific gravity of the oil multiplied by density of water right now g is how much 0 0.86 right 0 0.86 multiplied by 1000 right so how much is the density is 860 kg per meter cube right now what is it saying it's saying uh, a is compute the average velocity of the flow how you how we are going to average velocity how we are going to find the average velocity v how now see Q is the discharge is given. We know discharge Q is equal to cross sectional area multiplied by average velocity, right? So from here, what's the velocity? V is Q divided by cross sectional area, right? Now A is how much? It is a circular pi, so it is pi by 4 d square. It is pi by 4 diameter is how much? 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5 square and how much is it it is 0 0.19625 meter square right so uh, what will be the last velocity now we know q we just found a this so velocity is 0 0.22 which is discharge divided by a right <clears throat> 0 0.19625 and how much is it it is 1.12 meter per second so here we find the average velocity to be 1.12 meter per second okay now let me rub all of this okay now what is the part b compute the head loss okay now it's saying neglect the minor losses okay it means we will only consider the head loss due to friction which is denoted by h small h for head loss f for friction so it is hf means head loss due to friction is f l q square divided by 12.1 d5 okay now here f is coefficient of friction how much is it 0 0.018 l is the length of the pipe which is 500 meter right here and q 
Q we know Q is 0 0.22 meter cube per second as shown here now D is how much 0 0.5 meters as shown here right so head loss due to friction is going to be 0 0.018 multiplied by 500 multiplied by 0 0.22 square divided by 12.1 multiplied by d5 0 0.5 power 5 so when you swallow this you will get head loss to be 1.15 meters so we find the head loss 1.15 meters okay so let me rub all of this okay now we have to calculate the power loss okay now the power loss let us denote the power loss with w dot loss okay this is the power loss okay power loss now you know power loss or power can be calculated by m dot where m dot is the mass flow rate g multiplied by what head loss okay now we have only head loss due to friction okay this is m dot g hl okay now m dot now before i continue i want to tell you don't worry about writing okay i will provide the pdf of this lecture okay i have made the uh, the notes very clear you can just download from the description or in the comments okay just right now try to understand okay now m dot is what m dot is mass flow rate mass flow rate kg per second okay now we don't have mass flow rate given but we have volumetric flow rate that is q q is discharge or volumetric flow rate so mass flow rate can be calculated by density of the oil multiplied by volumetric flow rate right now the density is 860 multiplied by q is 0 0.22 so mass flow rate is going to be 189 okay so i can write here mass flow rate is 189.2 kg per second okay now we found the mass flow rate 189.2 now g is acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 and hf is head loss due to friction which is 1.15 right 1.15 Okay, when you solve this 189.2 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 1.15, you will get her power loss to be 2.14 approximately 2.14 kilowatts. Okay, now again, download the PDF of this lecture from the description. So again, if you need any help, okay, then you can contact me. You can ask me the problems. I can help you. Okay, I have, okay, I also provide the tutorials, okay, one-on-one -on -one tutorials. You can study fluid mechanics from me, okay. Uh, all the topics like uh, laminar flow, turbulent flow, in fluid mechanics, pipe flow, channel flow, okay. Uh, fluid kinematics and all other topics like 
momentum based problems and the total energy equation bernoulli equation problems and simulation and modeling in fluid mechanics okay so that's it we okay let me write this here power loss 2.14 kilowatt okay don't forget to download the pdf from the description and that's it see you in the next class thank you